when it first came out, I was like, oh my goodness, what is this? And so I went back and read the FBI reports from the interviews of Uma Abedin, and I read the Judicial Watch transcripts. And it's pretty straightforward, um, and she's pretty specific in how she dealt with emails. You know, to get to our Clinton server email, she used a web client. And so if that's what's on the laptop that they found, then it's not inconceivable, like any of us who use web clients, that might give a big number for emails, read, unread, in, you know, on the system, but they may not be locally stored on, on um, that laptop. And then B, for her state.gov account, she used an Outlook client. And if by chance there's an Outlook client there, then, you know, there's 99.99% chance that they're duplicates, particularly if she used an IMAP facility to, to download. And then for her Yahoo, it's a web client again. So when you look at exactly how she dealt with emails, you know, unless there's just something out of left field that we couldn't possibly have uh, predicted, you know, and, and she, you know, said something that was incorrect in the, both of those um, interviews, then I don't think there's anything at all to worry about. I think that's, you know, a tempest in a teapot. We can debate, Mark, the technicalities of what the FBI may or may not have, but bigger picture, do you not worry that this reinforces questions that some undecided voters still had about Clinton, about her treatment of classified information? No. And that it would turn people to vote, instead of voting for Donald Trump, against Hillary Clinton? Okay, well, there's two questions there. One, am I worried about how she dealt with classified information? First, let me say, I think the Clinton campaign was ridiculous in how they addressed the email problem. The real, the real question was, how does she deal with classified documents? The definitive answer, and it was in, again, all the FBI interviews, all the 302s that were published, the definitive answer over and over again that she dealt with classified documents via hard copy. That's why you, you see in these UMA interviews and even from Judicial Watch, they're not making a big stink of it because they know that um, Secretary Clinton asked for everything to be printed out. Every single document that was marked, properly marked as classified, was printed out. So. You know, if you do the homework, there's no reason to doubt how she dealt with classified information. Now, the second question is, what's the perception? And again, I don't think they did a good job of dealing with the, the, the PR aspect of it. Um, and so, yeah, it could lead some undecided to, to question it, you know, just because of the volume and the consistency of it. But in reality, if, if you dig deep and, and you, you inform yourself, there's no there there. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.